بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم if you want to verify we can use a command called show ip bgp summary that's a command uh, which will be using to verify the neighbors like you can see there is a console message comes up which is going to tell the neighborship is up we can also use a command called show ip bgp summary now this is the command which i use you can also use show ip bgp neighbors but that's really lengthy command because it shows you all the neighbors with some more detailed information you can see there is one neighbor 1.1.1.2 which is established the neighborship and then again there is another neighbor you will find probably after that so it's it's a kind of big output so we'll be using something called show ip bgp summary here now when we say show ip bgp summary it's going to display the neighbors what we configured and the bgp version 4 and what is the as number those neighbors are and the main thing the number of messages received all these things the main thing you need to verify is this one state now in terms of state generally you have something like active idle states we'll see this in the troubleshooting part uh, basically active or if you see something like active or idle means there is a problem here means it's unable to form the neighborship maybe you have misconfigured instead of this number you will see active here instead of this number you normally see either idle or active states okay so but if you see some number here which means even if you see zero here which means that the neighborship is established but zero prefixes are exchanged zero prefixes means nothing but from this neighbor if you see the number 3 means from this neighbor i am receiving three prefixes nothing but i am receiving three subnets or three networks if you see some other number like 7 here which means i am receiving seven prefixes or seven networks from this neighbor so this number will be varying depending upon how many routes you receive from that neighbor so even if you see zero that's fine zero means the neighborship is up but i'm not receiving any prefixes from this neighbor maybe that neighbor is not advertising anything to me but zero is also fine so this confirms the neighborship is up that's the first uh, basic verification you have to do once you are done with the neighbor configurations now there is one more thing we'll try to verify here routing tables like if i go to router 1 if i say show ip route bgp or show ip route now here you can see i'm receiving this 20 network 20 network i'm receiving and also i'm receiving 40 network but i'm not receiving the 30 network right can you see 30 dot network here 30 dot network is missing let's go to router 2 and check whether the same problem over there Now on the router two, you can see. On the router two, I'm receiving this ten. I'm receiving this thirty. Now thirty, I'm receiving here. But what about forty? I'm not receiving forty. Can you see forty over there? You don't see forty over there. Ten, eleven, and thirty. Okay, so let's check on the router three. If I say show IP route BGP. Now here. you can guess now the 20 is coming 40 is received and even 10 is not 10 is missing here the one which is not directly connected is missing let's check on the router 4 on the router 4 what is missing the missing is 20 20 row network is missing you can see 10 i am receiving 30 i am receiving 20 is missing can you see 20 over there now you can see on every router there is one route which is missing which is not directly connected neighbor like here the router one is receiving the routes from these two neighbors but not from this neighbor now this route is not coming here now the problem is the problem is because of the bgp split horizon rule 
Now there is something called BGP split horizontal rule here. And again, this rule is totally different from IGP split horizontal rule. So in RIP in distance vector, there is a split horizontal rule, which says an update received on one interface. Let's say, let's say I'm receiving this update on S0 by one. It should not be sent back on the same interface. So this is typically the RIP split horizontal rule or EHRP split horizontal rule. Okay, an update received from one interface should not be sent back on the same interface. But whereas here, the BGP split horizontal rule is totally different. Now in BGP, there is a split horizontal rule which tells that an update sent by one IBGP neighbor should not be sent back to another IBGP neighbor. Which means the router one sends an update to router two. The router one sends the 10.0 network to router two. Now the router two should not send this update back to router three. Just like one IBGP neighbor sends an update to another IBGP neighbor, means if, if I'm receiving any update from router one, router two should not send the same update to router three. He can send his own network. He can send 20. But again, the router three will not send this 20 to router four. That's what the exact problem happening here. Now, why this rule is present? It is a default rule present to prevent a loop prevention inside the AS, within the AS, because there is a possibility that if this rule is not present, then the router one will send the update to two, two will send to three, three will send to four, four will send to one again. So like that, the information may loop actually. So to prevent this kind of looping inside the AS, there is a default rule called split horizontal rule present. And this rule actually prevents the router one sending an update to router three. Because the router one is sending to two, two is not sending to three. That's what the problem here is. Now we need to understand these behaviors first. So to overcome this rule, now what I want is I want the router one 10 dot network and router three 30 dot network they should exchange, right? They should exchange. So I'm expect I was expecting that you know router one will send to two, two will send to three, but that's not going to work with BGP. So the solution is you need to have full mesh neighbor relationship. Full mesh means every router within the AS, which means let's say in my AS, this is my AS and I decided to run BGP on four routers, let's say. Maybe all the remaining routers are running OSPF. I'm not bothered about them. Remember, you don't run BGP on every router, as I already said. So I want to run BGP on this router. Now this router should be a neighbor of this router. And this router will be a neighbor of this router. And this router should be a neighbor of this router. Now we know full mesh means every router must be a neighbor of every other router within the same AS. 